Hey guys, ignore all these marks on my face. I just came back from work, so my mask took off my makeup, but this is gonna be my organizational video from the one that I mentioned in my haul video. I'm just making my intro. Okay guys, so the first thing that I'm gonna begin to organize is my nail decals and my foils. This is currently where I am keeping all of my na nail decals and foils. Um, it's basically just a photo album. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like underneath this like big wallpaper thing that I put on it. It's, okay, it's basically just like a, f a butterfly album. <laughs> super cheap, like I got the, I don't even know where I got this, but it's like super cheap. And then I got this like wallpaper stuff at the dollar store and I just wrapped it in there so that I can just make it look a little cuter. But this is basically, like this is how wide it is. It's just, like it's just, it, it, I don't know. I don't like, I don't like how it is. Um, and I'm already running out of pages and like I have a lot more things that I need to organize. So yeah, this is what it's looking like so far. I kind of just put foils in here. Since I don't have enough sheets and look the ripping, like it's so ugly and since I don't have enough sheets to like really separate these I just bulk them up you know in one and then it makes it just look really bulky and I just don't like it so this is what it's looking like and then I have these huge ones here that are like full package you know these are like Halloween ones that um, I just just stack them all up in one so yeah, so I don't like this setup that I have right now, so I'm transferring them all to this binder. And if you guys saw my haul, my recent haul, I explained how I'm going to be organizing it. I got these card separator things from Amazon. I'm going to start off by with one, but it's basically like a hundred sheets with nine pockets. It's like it can hold up to 900 um, items. So this is what they look like. And yes, I did get this on, on Amazon. I will link them but down below. If not, they are in, they should be in the links in the haul that I was doing, but this is what they look like. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and place them in here. And I've had this binder forever, so I don't even know where I got it, but yeah, I'm just gonna put them in the binder. And I feel like really good quality too because my photo album, like I showed you, it's just like ripping and I need something that's like higher quality so that I can withstand all my um, nail decals and stuff. So I'm going to just go ahead and place these in here and then we'll begin again with, um, I think I'm going to do nail decals and then put my foils in here. I have some foils right now that are like in containers and again like showing like clients these. Um, again I'm mobile so like in order for my clients to know what I have I put an, a story in my Instagram because I don't bring all my stuff with me to an appointment because it's just way too much. I used to do that and it was just way too much it's because these are just out here. Um, the thing with this with these is like when, when they come in a, in a pack like this, I never know how to separate them. Like, if to put them in, like, in bulk or to s literally, like, separate them each. I think I'm going to separate them and... Okay, so I decided I'm going to do, like, the first couple of pages are going to be color-coordinated in gold and silver. So that, like, if a client is specifically looking for a gold design or I feel like a set will look nice with gold, I'll just flip to the first pages, you know, and they'll be right there. So these are like all my gold decals that I have. And then um, these as well. And then I also found these gold flames. But of course I have like the rest of the colors that come like in the flame pack and the butterfly pack. Like they're all right here. But these will just be like out. Like there's gonna be a silver section after this so I'm gonna put them in there but um, the rest of these will be like sorted yeah. butterflies flowers flowers Okay, I'm 
just going to move them over here because they just keep falling. So flowers, random images, like flowers over here, like leaves. Okay guys, so I finally finished separating, organizing all my decals. These are just all my decals. Um, now I have to do my foils, but I am really, really enjoying this whole organizing thing. And then over here on this side, I just put my new, um, these are like all Halloween ones. And they're all brand new, so I didn't really feel like cutting these up just to fit them in here. I did cut some up though, like the ones that I've already used, like for example these, like these butterfly ones I've already used, um, but most of them were like this size so it was perfect because I was able to fit them in here, but for example these. These were like the size of the Halloween ones, but since I had already cut them up, um, I just decided to cut them in half so that I'm able to fit them in here. But yeah, this is what it's looking like and I'm really happy with the results for sure. Um, definitely like this way better than my other album, but yeah, so this is the first pack. This is what I have left. Oh, and then back here I have some butterflies actually. So I'm going to put these up front. These I cut in half so that I'm able to display some of them because I have like duplicates. So I just kept these full sized, but those are going to be put in the front too. Make sure I didn't miss any, yeah. So this is how much was left over from like the first pack that I used. I still have the other brand new pack, so I definitely have uh, room for growth in my decals, but I'm gonna begin with doing foils now. Um, so I'm gonna have to take these all out. But I'm just gonna be ripping them open because I don't care about this album anymore. So I'm going to just take them out and then I'll be right back so that you guys don't have to watch me do all this. Pretty repetitive. My shoulders hurt and my arms because I've been sitting for so long. Oh, it took me like an hour and a half or two hours to do all the decals, so. Okay guys, so I'm done, officially done with this album. It is torn up completely, but that's going to go in the trash. So now I have all of these foils. To go through plus these and these right here so I'm just gonna begin <laughs> and um, yeah let's see how long this takes us okay so I'm just gonna start off with these This is actually funny because I had a phone case. I have a phone case that has like the same exact print on it. It's strange. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was like the longest process of my life. My shoulders feel like they're on fire. <laughs> and I finally got all of my foils in here. And we have two two sheets of these card holders from the first pack left. A lot of more if I need the space. But that is it for this binder. I actually really like how it looks. Um, I like I like it organized this way a lot better. So yeah, I just have all my decals in the front and then all my foils in the back. 
I honestly didn't realize I had so many decals until I put them all out like this. But again, it's just so much easier to like find things. Um, so yeah, I like the layout of this a lot. So if you guys are finding, trying to figure out how to display your decals or foils and you need uh, um, your stuff to be more compact, I really highly suggest this. Um, if not, I also recommend you putting your foils in like containers like this or like bead containers and then just organizing them all like that and putting them like in a drawer. I think that's really good display as well. But um, for me, this is the best um, way for me to display it because I'm mobile. So if my client doesn't really have like a set design, which is really rare, usually like they'll send me their design that they want and then I'll bring everything to the appointment. But sometimes they're indecisive, which is fine, and um, I'll have to bring like the whole binder for them. So this is going to be very helpful, and I love it. I love how it turned out. Highly suggest it. And then I have like my new ones over here in the front. So moving on to the next organizational thing. Okay, so now my next organizational um thing that I'm going to tackle is my swatches, like my gel polish swatches and all of that. Um, this is also going to be very time consuming. Actually, no, I'm going to do this after this right here. So I got this set is going to be my metal um, stamping plates. It's going to be with my stamping plates. I'm just going to go ahead and tackle this because it shouldn't be that time consuming. The only thing is though that this is like the only thing that I have for my stamping plates. Um, I'm probably going to have to order another one because this isn't going to be enough. I don't. I feel like because I think these are like 16 of them. And I don't know how many slots are in this thing. But it came with this. So this should fit in here. But then I also have these plates. So hopefully I'm crossing my fingers that they all fit in this little black um, pouch so that I don't have to like buy another one right away. So I'm going to do the blue ones first just because it came with the pack. So I'm just going to go ahead and open them all. But I don't have school tomorrow morning so I need to take advantage of that. Please. I'm not going to take them out of their blue packaging yet um, until I use them, so let's put them in here. Hopefully they all fit. I mean, this isn't like the highest quality ever, <laughs> but you know what? It's, it's, it'll store them in there, so it, that's that's all I need it to do right now. And it's nice that it came with this pack of plates. I think it's very helpful. in there these are this is really nice this is really 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 nice I highly suggest you guys get this set um, I'll link it down below I'm gonna throw these away I'm just sad because I didn't put these mini ones in there I really really love that so there is that another thing complete then I'm going to organize these nail tips um, I'm going to be organizing these. So these are going to be... So these tips I'm going to be using for my press-on situation. And these are full cover square tips. And these are like the nicest ones that I was able to find. I did a lot of buying and I did a lot of returning because I wanted them to be shaped specifically... Um, this one's a little big, but they're they're perfect. They're like full cover tips, and they're like nice, nicely squared. So yeah, and then I got this container from my local beauty supply. So I'm just gonna put them all in here. Let me put them in order. 
So one, oh, zero. And I love it. I love this one too because it came with the zero and like it's really big, but the, my mom's a zero, so I like that I have the option too in sizes. This is the label printer I use. This is not sponsored. <laughs> um, it's called the Nimbot. I got this off a reel on Instagram. Basically, you get the Nimbot app like this. You turn it on, makes a really cute noise. And then, yeah, that's basically it. And then you just um, click on that. And I'm just going to put numbers on there because text, uh, double click, just one, space them out, two, three, four. Five, six, 
seven. Eight. I'm gonna put dots on, the, on all of on all of them since some of them have them and some don't. Eight and then nine. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So I need a zero. Zero. That's an O. <laughs> zero. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna delete that zero and add it up here. Oh, down here. Zero. Okay. Um, I'm gonna back the four up. Put it right here, like that. Space them out. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press OK. And then you can like change the sizing of them, but I want to just try to print them out on one sticker. I wanna see how it works. And then font, I mean, you can change the font. I usually just leave it on that one because it's like the easiest. Print print and then it prints and then this is what it looks like and I'm just gonna cut it okay <laughs> all right <laughs> these are a little too small personally <laughs> uh, way too small that's like embarrassing okay like <laughs> these are way too small I forgot how small the freaking labels are Zero. I mean, it could work. <laughs> They're so small. That honestly, whatever. Like, I I don't care that much. Like, I'm just numbering them. Like, at the end of the day, I'm the only one that's gonna be using them, so it doesn't really matter. Super small, but whatever. You get the point. I numbered them. <laughs> okay, so. That's how that label maker works, and I really like it, so recommend it. I got them on Amazon. Okay, so that is set. Now, move these extra tips. I'm going to organize these. So these were in my haul as well, and they're pre-shaped coffin tips. Um, but they came in two boxes, but I have a feeling I can just make them fit into one so that I can use this box for another set of tips. So I'm just going to try to transfer them all over just to one box. These are curved, uh, curved square clear tips, so... Yeah, and I liked the shape of these, so I'm keeping them. But this is what they look like. And there's that C curve. And they're just like perfectly... Don't mind my nasty, nasty, nasty nails, guys.
Okay, last ones. Perfect. So, there's that. <laughs> and I think that is it for my tips. Now, we're going to head and tackle the polish. So, this is where I currently keep my nail polish samples, my swatches. I keep them in this like book because I use swatch sticks for my acrylic colors and then I use these like this book, like these swatch books for um, gel. So usually I'll, st I'll stick these tabs. Since I'm still growing my collection, I didn't want to super glue them down because I like organizing them by color. So if I were to super glue them down, I wouldn't be able to take them out. So I use like, the little sticky tabs that you use for like nail art and stuff when you stick on your nails um because then I'm able to like remove them you know but they still stay stuck on there so um I'm going to head and upgrade because this one only holds like a hundred 120 swatches and this new one that I got holds 160 and since I just got new D&D &D color and as you can see it's kind of annoying me these little square indentations because they came with like these swatch things and they like put them like that in the package so they were like leaning against the album cover and it's like this like plasticky color so it left indents in it and I almost like was just gonna return it but in person you, you it's really hard to tell that they're squares it kind of just looks like indents you know but on camera you're really able to see those squares on there but it's fine, honestly. A lot of people don't even see the covers of my albums because I'm mobile, again, so I don't bring all my gel polishes with them. I usually will send them a picture um, of my swatch book before their appointment, and then they pick their colors from there. So, I don't really mind. I was like, whatever. So, I'm going to go ahead and begin in swatching because I do have the sets, the cat eye gel polishes sets from Amazon, the jelly polish set from Amazon, and... Um, then I have all my D&D ones that I need to swatch. These jelly ones, I'm going to figure out a way to swatch them so that they're able to go in this book because these obviously are not going to be able to work with those jelly ones. So I'm going to have to like use like a clear tip or something and like form it so that it's like able to fit in there. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch all my D&D shades right now. Alright guys, <clears throat> shoot. <laughs> my god. Their voice is like going away. Alright guys, it is literally 2.11 in the morning and I told myself I was going to go to bed at 2, but oh my god, I just, I really want to finish all this, at least my swatches for my book, like I at least want to transfer all of them into here. Hey guys, it is the next morning now and it is 10.44, I've been up for I think like 30 minutes now, but yeah, so... I'm continuing with the whole cat eye thing that I was doing. Um, I finally think I figured it out. Um, I was watching a video on this girl do using um, her cat eye because I couldn't get like the precise like cute shapes that I wanted to do, you know, like the stripe or like that round effect. But I watched a video and she said that you have to work kind of fast with these because the pigment will start to kind of like diminish and I've noticed that. I was kind of struggling with it and since I had it all in like one strip this is my first attempt that I, I did last night, and then I realized I didn't do the black base that you're supposed to do. So then I painted the black base, and then I painted these down here. And they look pretty nice, just alone too. But then I accidentally put it in the lamp for like two seconds, and it cured. So the, the, the um, little particles wouldn't move after that, even though it was only for two seconds. And these are the ones that I'm working on right now. These are still wet, but since I want to work with the magnet, I, I have to take them off the stand because then it keeps... Um, moving the other one right next to it because they're so close and then since I also have to cure one at a time because they the pigment moves a lot um, I had to do the see you can kind of start to see like the green is kind of gone so yeah you have to work kind of fast before the pigments start going away and I have to cure one at a time so that's what I'm doing right now and um, I'll be back when I finally figure it out <laughs> okay so I finally figured it out and it's a 
they look so much better now from the first attempt that I tried. So let me show you the first attempts, right? So this was the first attempt of the, like this Galaxy collection. And then this is the second attempt. I cured them way too early. Still pretty colors though. And then here is the last attempt. And can I just say these cat eye polishes are so cool. I'm surprised I didn't have them like way before. But look how cool. I did a little bit of different designs on them. But yeah, that's what they all look like. That's so cool. So that's the last attempt of the Galaxy collection. I had to put a black base and then, you know, maneuver them by themselves. And then this is the, like, the first attempt of the, um, where are they? Do I still have them? Oh, yeah, they're right here. This is the first attempt, this row right here, of the, like, lighter pastel kind of nude. And then here's the final product of like the more nude, kind of lighter colors. I'm so glad I got these. These are so, so pretty. I love the shades in these as well. Do you guys ever like get a new nail product and then you love it so much that you're like, I really hope that this product never goes out. Like they never change the, the, um, the quality of them or like they get rid of them. I'm always afraid of that happening and then never being able to find like the same the same product or whatever but I really like this one this one's so pretty it has like like little glitters on the base um, when I first was experimenting with them I didn't know if I should put like a white base underneath them because the first shade that I uh, tried was that blue shade and it looked very sheer, like the cat eye would work, like you see that line right there, but the sides are very, 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 okay, please ignore my nasty, nasty, this is like paint, because I was like messing with paint, it's just, they're nasty, but, um, you can tell the sides are very sheer, and so I, like, I put one coat of like the polish, cured it, and then I put a second coat and then did the whole cat eye effect, and you can tell the difference in them. Um, the cut eye like line is a little bit more prominent on this one, but it's very sheer and it looks really weird. So I like this side better. So I did have to double up on this one. So then I was like, oh, maybe I have to put like a white base coat. And, like I did the black on the other collection, but then I tried like the pink one. I then I tried like the then I tried the rest of them and like they are a little bit sheer, but it's it doesn't look weird. You know, it doesn't look bad. So I just kept doing it regularly for the rest. I didn't layer them or anything. Um, but I mean, I'm sure you could layer them and it would be fine, but I didn't mind how they looked, so. That is the whole cat eye collection for me. Um, now I'm going to do like the jelly colors and um, I was messing with my nail polish book here and I was like trying to measure different clear tips like these are the full cover tips that we were just organizing and I saw that the number four fit in the top area really good so I'm just gonna cut the end off oh you can't even see that can you see that right here this is the down tip right here like the n number four it fits really nicely into like the the shape of this but I just have to cut the, t the end off um, because again I really want to be able to swatch these jelly colors and then the D&D clear pink. So I'm gonna grab, um, I think the jellies come with six. Yeah, six shades, so I'm gonna grab seven because of the D&D. I'm gonna grab seven clear tips. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then I'm just gonna cut them. I'll just cut them with the scissor, honestly, because they're just going to be swatches. Oh no, it makes the white little line thing, whatever.
Okay guys, so now I finished swatching the jelly ones. This is what they're looking like. You can kind of see the little white end on some of them, but it's fine. But now I have to remove all of my swatches from this book here so that I'm able to organize them. So white's gonna be number one. And what's cool is that um, it has like a little stick sticky layer in the back. So these I don't have to wear, put the blue tabs on there because the book already has like sticky tabs. I'm sure they won't last forever, but I mean, it does the job. This is what it's looking like. This is how I organized the shades. And these. I really like how these jelly ones came out. The tips worked perfectly. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. It's crazy how much variety of colors I have now. Like before I had, you know, like the, I had like every color, but now I have like different shades of each one. So it's really, 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 really cool. 
and it's nice to have a huge variety so I'm excited and I'm happy because I finally got my olive green I've been looking for an olive green forever and it is the Kiara Sky um what color is it it's in the color call it cliche so if you guys are looking for a good olive I'd recommend that one highly so yeah, I'm really happy with the amount of colors that I have now. I have a lot more variety for sure. But um, I like I like this one better because I do have a little bit of space to keep growing the collection. On my other one, I was running out. So yeah, so the gel book. Oh, oh girl. <laughs> Did we forget? Why don't we have that one in? Perfect. Um, so yay, all my gels are organized and swatched. So that is another thing off my list. And honestly, I think that's all I had to do for my organization. Um, now I'm going to go show you the little area that I keep all my nail stuff in. And then um, I'm going to figure out how to organize it best for me. And then I don't know if I'll record it, but um, we'll see. Okay, so this is where I keep all of my nail stuff. Um, right now it is a mess because I haven't been able to figure out how necessarily I want to organize everything. Um... I have to keep everything in my closet because, I mean, I don't have, like, the biggest room ever and I don't have a spare room in my house. So, this is kind of what I have to, to organize with. At first, I only started off with this, um, contain this storage here. And, um, and, I mean, it worked. It works really well for me. I have so many random stuff in this one. This one's, like, the messiest. Actually, no, I lied. This one and then, like, these two bottom ones. Um, this second drawer, I mean, this is, like, I'm perfectly happy with how this is organized. This one I'm able to maintain organized. Um, oh my gosh, that scared me. Because everything is already in, like, little containers, you know, so it's just a lot easier to organize. I need to buy more of these little, um, separators so that I can put them in here. Um, but yeah, this one's basically just, like, a bunch of, um, just a bunch of glitters. And these are just, like, rhinestones, flowers... Um, little confetti things, just glitters, just a bunch of, literally just a bunch of glitters and just some more little things to like decorate, to like decorate with, so yeah, this one I will not be touching, I am perfectly happy with that one. This one, oh my god, I just have like stuff everywhere. This one is where all my gel and acrylic is currently. Um, I'm gonna have to take my gels out of their boxes. I like keeping them in their boxes just because, like, I don't know, it just looks more put together to me. But now having so many, and these aren't even all of them, it's, you know, I still have the new ones that I just got. Um, it's, they're just, I don't know, it's kind of hard to be, like, lifting up, trying to find the colors when I need them. So I'm going to be taking them out of their boxes and putting like the regular polishes somewhere else. Maybe my mom will want to use them. Um, ever since I discovered gel, I just, I can't fathom wearing regular polish anymore because you have to wait for it to dry. Maybe on my toes I will um, during summer, especially because I change the color of um, my nails a lot during the summer. So usually I'll put regular polish on my toes. Um, but as in like the gel, I'll probably keep in this drawer, I think. Yeah, because up here they won't fit. So, I'm going to keep them in here. So, I'm going to go ahead and empty out all of the boxes and separate the gels from the regular polishes. And then I think I'm just going to put all the gels like this, kind of, you know, so that it's easier to find. And then my acrylics, I think I'm going to put up here in this drawer um, and move all of this somewhere else. <laughs> um, because it's just, it'll be easier and... Um, I don't have too many acrylic colors right now. Um, I mean, I still have to do the... I still have to open up the little ones that I got that I showed in my last haul. But they're little, little ones. Like, they're the size of, like... Um, like this. They're the size of this. So, it'll be... It'll be... They'll fit up here, I think. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take out all the polishes out of the boxes. Okay, so this is the <laughs> aftermath of everything. And the drawer. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Okay, so my D and D DCs, my D and D regular ones, and then I have like a random gelish one. We have some Kira Sky ones back here. These are my cat eye ones, and then some random like Beetle brand ones when I used to have them. But yeah, I don't know why I still have them. But yep, 
my jelly ones, and then I have my Young Nails um, art gels. And then I have all my backup top coats and like matte top coats and base coats. And yeah, so this is my whole drawer for my gels. And then my decor. And then up here, I'm gonna put all my acrylic. So this is all the acrylic that I have right now. And then I have the ones from Wapisima that I still have to unbox and review. So I don't have them in here yet, but they are for sure will all fit on this end of it because they are smaller containers like this one. So yeah, I think they'll all fit. But yeah, so that is how that is coming along. I need to go throw away all these and then I have all of these polishes, like the regular polishes. And I don't really know what to do with them because um, I don't, oh, where's my nail cheeks? This is a nail strengthener that I recommend to everyone, works great. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what to do with these because I don't use regular polish ever now. Um, but I don't wanna like, I don't know. I don't know what to do with them. I don't have space to like store these. Oh, in this drawer down here. Oh my gosh, these drawers are such a mess. Like these tips, I don't think I'll ever use in my life again. They're just white tips from when I first started doing nails and then I dropped them one day and never organized them again. So I don't know what to do with them. And then these are extra tips, um, which are these more containers from Walmart. I got these little containers from there. But these are like C-curve stiletto tips, um, which I haven't started using yet, but I do eventually want to start. So I have the clear ones, and then I have like the natural ones right here, um, which I'm going to stop using natural nail tips now. I'm just stick to clear ones, but so then I have all these natural ones that I'm probably not going to use anymore. I don't know. I don't know what to do with all this stuff. And then I have like my glow-in-the-dark powder pigments. Um, which I'm planning on making acrylics with, acrylic powder, my backup natural stiletto tips, um, extra tips for my practice hand and my gloves. This is all stuff that I used when I was trying to make my own acrylic because I kept getting like little grains in there. So then I got these like coffee, um, what are they called? Um, coffee grain, wait, what are they called? Um... I don't know what they're called, but like it separates the grains, you know, and it did really work, but it, it took forever to like shake the powder out. So I stopped, I stopped the process of that, but I still want to make my own acrylic soon. Um, Q-tips, oh, it's just a bunch of random stuff. Like this is a dip powder from this brand that an Instagram, this they sent me through Instagram. Um, but I don't use dip powder, so I was like, maybe I can re use it for acrylic, but I haven't tried it yet. And then I have my nail buffer pack. And then I have a bunch of these extra bottles that I don't use. I have some sip, sip, stick, styptic pencils for like this. These are basically used if you cut a client, but thank God I haven't yet to use those. Um, and then I have these heart confettis that I actually want to try to encapsulate for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to take them out and then try it out later. And then these are just a bunch of acrylics that I tried... Um, that I made when I first um, started trying to make acrylic, but I don't know, there's just so much, so much junk. And then my Born Pretty stamping polishes are here. So I don't even know where to begin with that drawer. And then even worse for this one, this one is basically just like brand new backup supplies. So like these are backup acrylic containers, more over here. I have my um, backup files, um, backup gloves, and then I have an extra pack of the Young Nails uh, Mission Control paints because I love them, so I have a backup one. And then, honestly, this drawer is basically taken up from all my practice hands. I have a lot of practice hands, which I'm going to be making a separate video on um, describing like what practice hands I would suggest you get, especially when you're starting. But, yeah, so I'm just going to figure out how to organize that, and then... Um, I'll be back. On this side, I have, this is what I take to my nail appointments, and then I have all this random, random junk that I took out of the first drawer so I could put my acrylics in there. And yeah, and then all of these like smaller containers are used for my um, soon-to-be press-on business. So I have my press-on tips in here. Um, I need to label all of them. 
And here is like all my stuff that I'm gonna be sending within the packages. This isn't press on related, this is just random, more junk. Some forms, um, an extra Mia Secret acrylic back here, some extra nail tips, my vacuum that I use. And then this is just more like my art, my art pen, pens and brushes and stuff. And then way more just random stuff. And these are swatches from my acrylics that I made when I first was attempting to make acrylic. Let me see if I can show you guys. But I don't think I'll use these honestly because they were they weren't the best quality. There they are. So. And I swatched them like on top of the swatch stick, so they're all lumpy and gross. They're okay though, but I don't think I'd ever use these. It was fun just to like, I mean, they're they're nice. Don't get me wrong. Like, there's not much screenage in these, so I could probably use these. But I just have to look over all of them and figure out like which ones I actually want to keep for my collection. And then up here is random wires. And oh my gosh, I almost fell. And then here I'm keeping like my ring for my um, acrylic swatches that I've done for my current acrylics that I have. But I still have to add the Wapisima collection to these. To these, so once I add the Wapisima ones, these is gonna be like there's probably gonna be like three rings instead of just this one. But yep, I don't know why it's in there, but it's in there. And then I just have like my little grinder thing that I'm going to be using to make acrylics with. I have my cords for my Dymo printer, extra batteries. This one's empty, but I'll figure out what to put in there. And then I have like my backup bottles, so I'm going to be a secret monomer. Yeah, so I just need to figure out this whole section. So, um, let me figure it out. <laughs> Alright guys, I think I am done. Um, for now at least, uh, the bottom drawers honestly are, are not even organized at all. I'm just going to use those as extra storage. Uh, most of it is like brand new things or again like my leftover hands that I don't use as often. I only use like two of my practice hands. Um, and then a lot of it is extra tips that I just don't need. Um, I recently bought the Young Nails Core Kit, and it came with these tips here, and I don't use curved tips. Um, so if you guys are interested in these or, um, these BT Art Box nails, I mean, there's a few in here in each one. I think this one's, like, almost brand new. Yeah, this one's basically brand new. I think these are coffin-shaped. Um, if you guys want them, let me know. I'll send it to you guys because, uh, I just have... A lot of extra things that I don't need. Same with the white tips that I showed earlier. If you guys are interested in those, even just to use like practice ones, let me know just because I need to get rid of them. I need more space. But yeah, just let me know. But this is how everything is organized. Um, from here up, everything's pretty organized. So I'm happy with it. And then I keep my mobile set up here. And then I also have my duffel bag that I carry, which I don't know where it is. For some reason, I can't find it. Um, very weird. It might be under my bed or something. I don't know. But yeah. But basically, the way I organized it is these are all my gel polishes. Oh my gosh, this drawer is so beautiful to me. Like, it looks so I have those. And then in here, it's just all like my, my decor and just glitter. Literally just glitter upon glitter upon glitter. And then I have my magnets for my cut eye. My eyeshadow applicators for my chrome powders. Um, just glitters. All of these little containers here full of different things. Um, most of it is just glitter though. And just things to encapsulate too. These here. I have striping tapes. Um, these cute little stars. So pretty. Um, and yeah, so that's what's in that one. This one is going to be all of my acrylic. Um, I just put my Young Nails ones that came in the core kit. And then I have my sample ones back here. Some perfect match. This is a really, 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 really good brand, guys. If you guys are interested in a new acrylic brand, super good. And then just my glam and glitz ones. And then I have my I move my swatch sticks into here. And my Wapisima ones are gonna be in here as well. But I'm gonna film a video on me reviewing all my colors because there's over a hundred. So oh shoot. So yeah, stay tuned for that video. I have my Dymo 
label maker, which I'm going to be making my labels for my press-on nails. Underneath, I have my mini label maker for labels like this. And then acetone, extra monomer that I don't use on clients. I just use for swatches because that monomer is, like, really weird. I got it at my local nail supply store, and it dries, like, really quickly. And it's, like, I don't know. I wouldn't like to work with it, so that's why I leave it there. Here, the store is kind of random and it's a little messy, but it's basically just gonna be like my extra art drawer because they don't, they, like, this stuff doesn't fit into that little one. But basically, like, my inks, my marbling inks that I bought recently from Amazon, I still haven't used them, but I have them in here because I do want to experiment with them soon. So I have those in there, and then I have my stamping plates. Um, just extra confettis and glitters and rhinestones, gems, so, yeah, that's what's in there. And then here I just keep my little, these are the towelettes I use for, to wipe my brush off when I'm doing sets, and my, um, gel swatches, and then all of my nail decals and foils that I showed you earlier in the video, and then my packing slips for my press-ons, and then here is like my organizers so here I just put press on tips so these are going to be the ones that for um, clients these are application so my application kit stuff my packing supply stuff press on extras meaning the things that I'm like I use to paint my um, press ons with and to display my press ons with um, and here I don't have a label but it's basically just my um, scale to send out packages my wiring for my dymo printer, and then back there's my grinder thing that I'm gonna test out eventually. This one's like my messiest drawer within all of these because it's just a bunch of random tools that I use. So like my make, so um, art brushes, I have extra acrylic brushes from Young Nails that I just bought that I can't wait to test out. So I bought the, um, the Pro Acrylic Sculptor Brush and then it came and then I got an extra one with the pro uh, the core kit. Um, I want to get a bunch more of these boxes to organize all this stuff in. But then I have like extra um, monomer dishes, dampen dishes, containers for them. And then up here I just have like different um, just rags for whatever I need rags for. <laughs> and then my barbicide container, an extra UV light. This is the one that I keep at home and then I have one that I keep in my mobile kit. And then back here is just like my extras, so Barbicide, the gel polish in there that I'm going to make a review of, um, extra monomer bottles, give me a secret to gallons, and then my Young Nails swipe. So that is all of it, and now I'll have to deal with all of this eventually, I'll figure it out.